Okay, welcome back to Evans Kitchen Part 3. We're doing uh, my college pie today. I'm going to just leave it here for a second because I've got a special guest slot for you, as promised. It's Mr. Vernon Kay! Welcome back to Family Fortunes with me, Mr. Vernon Kay. Of course, before the break, we told you we had Darth Vader in the studio. There he is, he's strapped up and ready to go. So, shall we play What Will Vader Say with me, Vernon K? Okay, let's have a quick rundown of what we've got. Uh, don't, don't ready, you guys at home have got to be ready on the buzzers. Just be ready, guys. Uh, number one, will you take a punt on Darth saying you underestimate the power? of the dark side will Darth say you underestimate the power of the dark side but two the choice is what is thy bidding my master at two what is thy bidding my master at three as always I am your father that one was what Vader said to Luke no doubt in Empire Strikes Back and number four, one of my personal favourites, if you only knew the power of dark side, if you only knew the power of dark side. At five, will you take a punt on, you have learned much, young one. You have learned much, young one, that's number five. At six, I find your lack of faith disturbing. I find your lack of faith disturbing, that's at number six. At seven, that's eight to one, not number eight. At seven, I have you now. Remember Darth, anyone saying I have you now? Closing down those TIE Fighters. That were Darth. Now remember, there's a couple of choices left before you die, old guys. We'll give you your choices. At number eight, the force is strong with this one. At eight, the force is strong with this one. Especially here on Family Fortunes. At nine, it's simply Vader's breathing. The noise, that's not what he says, that's just the noise of Vader breathing. That's coming up on the, the rails at 33 to 1. And at 10, most impressive. Will Vader say it most impressive? So what will it be? What will Vader say with me, Vernon K? Have another look at the choices, guys. And then we're going to be asking you... To place a number, one to ten. What will they to say with me, the host of Family Fortunes, with the emphasis on the host, for Bolton reasons, Vernon K. And that's it, guys. I'll give you ten seconds to put your money where your mouth is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, as the Sesame Street song goes. Now's the time. What will they to say with me, Vernon K. Well, this is it, guys. What did you guess? This is it, after three, you're going to find out whether you're right or you're wrong. If you're right, you win a potato. If you're wrong, you win nothing except your pride. Here we go. Three, two, one. What will Vader say? With me, host of family fortunes, with the emphasis placed on host of Bolton reasons, Vernon K. Three, two, one. What is thy bidding? Oh, it's what is thy bidding, my master. I think you might have drowned it out, but it was what is thy bidding, my master. Come on then, I'll give you another go. Reasons 1 to 10, come on, 3, 2, 1. What will Vader say with me, Vernon K? 3, 2, 1. I am your father. Oh, I am your father. If you got the first one right, well done. If you got the second one right, well done. If you didn't get any right, commiserations to you. We'll never that. see you again. Host to Family Fortunes, Vernon K. Back to Evans now, who's finishing off his courage pie. He's with the emphasis on courage, for Bolton reasons. See you again, Vernon K. and Darth Vader. Bye. Well, what can I say about that, guys? I don't know how. I really don't know how this is going to turn out. The second one was a Big thanks to Vernon Kay and Darth Vader for uh, coming up with that, which gave me a chance to, uh, if you can remember what the whole thing was about, it was about product pie. Now I've added in some leek, some onions, some crunchy carrots, our cottage pie mix, our minced beef, that is all in the main pan, the big one I call that, that's all gone in there. I'm going to crank that back up. The potatoes are ready to mash, so I'm going to take those off. Now, I've got a few onions and mushrooms here, which I'm going to bung in there like that, just to, uh, just to give it a little bit more crunch. 
when it all comes. Well, mix it all together, don't worry. If you're doing this at home and your dish is dried up, you can just keep adding water. Just keep on adding it. Don't you don't want to drown it because you can you can do that with anything. You can think, oh my gravy's a bit runny, I'll add another oxo, then it's a bit thick, I'll add more water. You're just gonna keep doing this and all day. You'll end up doing a sort of scar dance, you know, bit of water, bit of gravy, that sort of thing. You know, um let's get that cooking away as I um just put my glass of water down. Now, the reason we're all here is this. It is the garlic, and now is the time, I think. Let's just stir in what we've just put in the mushrooms and that. Get all that in there. We've got everything going in there that we need now. Now, I'll just crank that up. Crank it up to the max. And I'll find my little grater. This baby is so versatile. Now you can use it for cheese, carrots, but I like to use it for garlic and shavings, I call them, because I don't grate my garlic. I, I shave it in because I do like people to taste the garlic. No, I don't want them to think I'm a garlic freak because I'm not. I mean, if I was, you'd, uh, you'd smell me a mile away, wouldn't you? I mean, garlic's not the most subtle of uh, fragrances, let's face it. But it's always nice to, if you've got someone coming you're not particularly keen on, Keep back a little clump and uh, throw it in, in their portion, because, um, you know, it'll be right last seeing them uh, reel back, then you can say, oh, I didn't know, I'm, I'm so sorry, uh, I asked uh, a friend to keep an eye on the meal while I just flipped out to the shop to get the potatoes, and they must have uh, thrown that in by accident. Always blame somebody else. First rule of cooking. Our garlic cloves all going in there and now we're pretty much there I think we'll just give this a final sizzle a little bit of willy water just make sure that that gets nicely dispersed in the pan you're going to ask me for a recap aren't you? Well, probably not, but I'm going to give you a recap. What have we got in this pan? We've got minced beef. Well, we've got oil. We started with oil. We then put in our value minced beef. Uh, then we put in mushrooms. We put in leeks, crunchy carrots. We put in some garlic. Um, all, all manner of things um, went into this pan. And we're going to crank that right up now. I mean, it's almost bubbling up, so it's just ready. So when we get our cat litter tray out, and just bang all that in. So that's taking care of itself. Let's get rid of that. We don't any mess. I hope you've noticed on Evan's Kitchen um, this series, so far anyway, that I've been cleaning as I go because I, I made the mistake last series of leaving things everywhere. I'd wake up on the Sunday morning and uh, I just think, I can't face this. That would carry through to the Monday. I, I was on a late night at work on the Monday, and I'd come home, and I'd have Saturday's pots, Sunday's pots, come home, couldn't be bothered, have me tea, then I've got Monday's pots to do on Tuesday. Hope you've noticed, little trick here, the mince bag. Everything I have got has gone in there. And the other thing, if you've watched uh, Ellen's Kitchen behind the scenes, which I don't know if you have, my potato peelings have gone in there. They're going to a neighbour who's going to mulch them in with some compost. Right, pretty much getting there, I think. Stir that up. And I think the potatoes are getting there as well. I've done way too many potatoes. I knew this, but last time I made one of these pies, I didn't make enough. So I think I've overcompensated. Uh, so what I'm going to do is quickly mash these up and I'll catch you guys in part four for the uh, final part of this week's Evans Kitchen. See you in a minute.